Alrighty guys, so welcome to Warhammer 40k Space Marines. Now, I haven't played this game, but here recently I have been getting into Warhammer 40k. And uh, especially I've been looking into uh, the Dark Angels more here recently in Lionel Johnson. And I've heard that the Ultramarines have also breach through the divide to come over to the dark side of the imperium a lot of you guys that don't know what anything about 40k are going huh me and my friends are going like yeah you know a little <laughs> yeah i know a little so but anyways here i've decided that i wanted to play this because the second game is coming out here this summer and yeah i figured we may as well play it get it out of the way so that way when the second game comes out we can hop right to the second game so yeah, and we are going to be doing a new campaign. I did do a little bit of a test run, get a little bit into the game there, you know, just figure out some of it. And we are going to be doing this on hard, because there is no other way to play this, honestly. This, this feels like the way this game was meant to be played. In the grim darkness of the future, there is only war. That is the greatest thing from 40k. Or I guess that's not the greatest thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, that's like the most iconic thing from 40k. Like the most iconic line. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know why I said greatest. But that's what I was trying to say. Now what this is doing right now is scanning the planet. To find anything of importance. Like say a war warlord class titan. Alright. That thing is strategic value absolute. So, instead of uh, destroying the planet from orbit, or nuking it from orbit, uh, we're going to... An exterminatus is, yes, nuke it from orbit. So, now what they're doing is they're deploying the ultramarines to go capture the pro like the weapon. I believe. I, I, there might be an other thing on the planet that's, but, like, yeah. There I think there's other space marines being sent in, but this is what ours were in the story are originally sent for. Or, like, they might have just decided not to blow up the planet just because there's a warlord titan on it. I don't know. Now, we do have the music set to, like, five, but for some reason it's still very loud. Um... I really hope I do not get copywritten. I will try. Sega. Oh, this was made by Sega? I didn't know that when I first started up the game. I think I even... Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, even when I booted up the game, I even remember hearing the Sega. You know? Ow, I just hit my mic. Ow, that actually really hurt. My knuckle. I hit the metal part. Ow. And I really wanted to grab me something to drink before I started this, but now we're in it. This is kind of... We're going to kind of do this like we did Halo, you know? So this is Titus. I really actually... They finally have made uh, an actual 40k model, I believe, for him. I saw. I might be. I might be wrong, but it's like for a, a spin-off game, where the normal 40k models are compatible. That's what I believe it was, and it's like the first kit, and I actually really want to get it because it has Titus, just so I can get the Titus model and paint it. Get the ship to safety. Find another. I have orcs. I have a. Uh, Damn it, I can't remember their names. I have a bunch of boys, uh, some goblins, and then I don't have squigs. I have a goth rocker. If any of you guys know what a goth rocker is, I actually have three of them. Uh, I got I got one model that I was gonna do up the normal way. Then I got one model I was gonna do a fancy way, and then one I was gonna make into a clown, a clown rocker. Because, yeah. Uh, but, unfortunately, all the paint I ordered from Games Workshop... I'm so, I hate to say, every every time I've gotten paint from Games Workshop, 
it is all comics by like club clumpy rock hard like it's already hardened in the little thing so i've heard of this vallejo i've not gotten that brand yet but i think i'm gonna try getting some of their paints so that way i can do my do up my uh my orcs and all that but i think if anything if i do i would like to start doing dark angels if i do do my uh marines i i know that there's a starter kit for the models that comes with the paints but again games workshop paints i'd hate to get that starter kit just to find out that uh all the paint in it is already expired okay i already know how to fight in this game somewhat again i did do a little bit of a practice run to get a hang of it so stun Ooh. ow Ooh, stun and then B to assassinate. Stun B. And this is how we heal. We have to stun and then we uh, and we get we get a heal. I'm hoping that the mechanics get a little bit of a tune up and a little bit better in the next game. Which of course that's that can always be expected. Ow ow. I'm also hoping that they make it feel like there's a sense of a progress. Ow. Ooh. Oh, stun! B! Ow! I didn't realize we got that low on health. Oh, I'm really low. Okay, let's do this the smart way. Oh, okay. We fully healed there. I didn't realize that. We do heal over time. I kind of panicked there. So that's the war boss. He's the leader of the orcs right now. I think the model I have for a boss or the war boss is Gazgul. So like he's the big one. He's like a. He's the orc that's kind of like uniting all the orc like factions or tribes or whatever they go by. I can't remember at the moment. I'm trying not to die. So I just did a Shane. Ooh, get that assassination. They're about to kill me. Ah! Do it again. Get full health. Let's do this. Do it to this, this orc. We'll get the shield. Oh, that didn't get me shield. Okay. But what we can do here is boom. And this is... Going to shoot down the ship. Yeah. So I played until what I considered would be a good stopping point for the first episode. So I guess through this first episode, I know generally what's going to happen in the game. I'm just going to give you guys a heads up. So also, if you guys don't know here, the orcs, uh, this is just kind of a fun fact for them. They would basically whatever they believe uh is like their reality so they believe that they don't need windows in spaceships so they can technically breathe in space also i also believe it's their spaceships really just have to be like a hunk of scrap metal and it if they believe it's a spaceship it's a spaceship and basically that like works with all their technology if they believe it's a gun it's a gun if they believe it's a tank it's a tank if they believe it's a a walking a walker or a, what, what are they called Titans, yeah basically if, it's whatever they believe it is but no orcs are so angels, dumb that they don't realize this it's but like yeah I scarcely thought it would be left alive. Here's the thing. Have you ever seen a purple orc? Yeah, that's because that they believe if you you paint the if they're painted purple, they're invisible. A sneaky orc is always painted purple. 
So, chapter two. Now, I'm not gonna be the kind of guy that like every chapter we, we cut, but no. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna fight. Bring it. Come here, you goblins. There's definitely something back here. You know, like when something like looks so much like. I think I grabbed this already. I might, I might be spacing off. <laughs> I think I grabbed that already. That might be one of the audio logs. So there's like weird. There's collectibles around the map that you can get. And all that. Ooh, this is gonna be the gun. This is gonna be the bolter. We already technically have a bolter. This is gonna be the, the like full auto bolter. We already had like a bolter pistol, a bolt pistol. This light, boys. Nice. We mowed through those guys. So, bolters are pretty awesome. They're a rocket propelled uh, round that explodes upon entry. So that, that way, like, say, when you shoot another, like, uh, Chaos Marine, uh, the round will pass through the armor into the body and then explode. So that way, like, it's a compressed... Captain, yeah, you know, like, how... Yeah, you know, like, why you're not supposed to uh, put your hand around a firecracker after you lit it? Blows off your fingers? That basically happens, right? Like, it causes a lot more damage. And it's like a 75 caliber round. You mow these guys down up top. Ow. They're surprisingly not doing that much damage. Ooh. But orcs use almost the exact same weapons as humans. Sometimes, I believe. I think that's what they use. They kind of use scrap, scraps, leftovers across the battlefields. That's why they're here at this planet. They're trying to raid it for the war, the Warlord Titan. Say, if they get their hands on that, they'll get one powerful weapon used against the, the humans. Okay, I think we've shot enough orcs finally. Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself, the Andrews. I got a screen chat. Sorry if you guys heard it. <laughs> I thought that right there would be perfect for uh, for the first thumbnail. What? Okay, I think we go this way. Definitely the way that they came from. I don't we're definitely not gonna go try and find all the collectibles if we run across ones we'll grab them I want to know how we got guardsmen so this is basically the Imperium sport of uh, population control did any oh None of the guardsmen survived. See? Now, less mouths to feed. Problem solved. Oh. Look at... Oh, those marines. Come 
Come on, just chop. Oh, these Marines are actually holding up. Oh, that's they got a heavy bolter. That's why. That's basically like a 50 caliber machine gun version of this. Or yeah, it's an amped up version. It's re it's a larger round too, I believe. Pick up some ammo. We're gonna get a cutscene. My lord, you have saved us. Rise so, it, fun fact, another one. Uh, so when the emperor died, be, uh, the not, empire became him. fractured, and then one of the major the like factions lines. that kind of started reuniting was like the a the church Lord that believed. Uh, then we find this lieutenant. I'm like spacing off here, geez. I already know this symbol. It was a church that believed that the Emperor was like a god. So the god emperor started becoming a thing. And really what started it is one of the one of his sons that was the like a primar he was a primarch of the word bearers and he started that whole thing where he believed the emperor was a god and all that. And then this church, it's even funny because then this church even you had this encounter with him where it's like they were using these words that he quoted himself against him now that he doesn't believe in them. Because uh, that, that Primarch, uh, he's one of the chaos. He fell to chaos. Uh, he was like the first one, I believe. Uh, oh. Captain, I'm in position at a broken monument near the guard lines. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go meet up with this guy here. And I believe we get a... The Chainsword, if I'm correct? I might be wrong. I'm hoping it's the Chainsword. If I remember correctly, it should be. If not, it's the Sniper. I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some Orcs for you. Orcs have got that gun well defended, no mistake. Ooh, he even's Typical got a robot arm. I didn't notice that the first time. Destroy the gun. I just now noticed that. Not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. There's actually a faction of uh, Chaos Space Marines that do that. They will na like naturally uh, repl or not naturally. They will slowly or over time or through their training replace their uh, body with mechanical parts and their whole motto is the flesh is weak got the chain sword now I can shop really through some guys oh yeah There we go. Nice chop. Ooh, we got some marine. We got some orcs still alive. I said marines. Not yet. I know we will fight chaos marines in this game. I just don't know how far in. I've seen them. There are skins for them as well. Here's the thing as well. I saw that there were custom skins. I don't know how to apply them. I. Oh, I needed to definitely. Okay, we're healing. Get to cover. Okay, dealt with that orc. I need to... Need to find an orc to melee. Okay, we're gonna get a cutscene here. Oh, it's the squigs. So, squigs are like really like weird creatures. They're symbiotic to the orcs. Like, there's hair squigs and beard squigs. Because orcs can't naturally grow hair, but every orc that you see with hair, it's a squig. Um, then you also got a normal squig there that... Oh, that it... Well, that they have strapped bombs to. Then you got some larger squigs that some orcs will even ride. Uh, then you got, like, a speaker squig... Which is one of the things that my golf rocker has. Like, that's one of the things that the model actually has. Is like, hey, look, this uh, squig has been turned into a speaker. Oh! 
I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was trying to melee and I, I messed up. Oh, they really gunned me down quick. They gunned me really down quick. Okay. I really shouldn't have used all those explosives because I know what's coming. Chopping them down! Oh, that... Oh, those orcs are gonna kill me. Oh, get to cover, get to cover. Okay, I gotta toss a grenade. Oh, they killed him. Is there any orcs? Nope. Uh, I was hoping to grab one. That dropship's coming back around, though, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Cutscene, though. Oh, I really wish I had help! This guy's gonna be a little difficult. Grenade, 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 grenade. You, I needed help. <laughs> Space Marines, thank you. We thought we were done for. Well, I guess thank you. You guys helped me kill him. I believe they will let us through. Imperial Guard, we are Ultramarines. Open this door. Space Marines. Okay, let's go this way. Word from the second recce. Another horde of the Greenskins are headed here from the south. So we have reached the command bunker. This should be a good upgrade here as well. I think it's the radar. Hold the line. I'm staying alive. I, Lieutenant. So we gotta watch the cutscene first. Thank the Emperor. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting If I'm correct, Cadian that is why we are here. Cadia was a planet that was Come with me like then. the Imperials like doorstep into like the realm of or the Rift of Chaos or whatever. I know some of these names are wrong and basically once it was destroyed, that rift grew and split the empire into two. But yeah, Cadia is gone. So Cadia's sold like any Cadian soldiers that are left are with like the best of the best, I believe. Fury unlocked. So that should be uh, like melee upgrade. That was two weeks ago. So we've lost contact with them. We need to reach that Titan. Your fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gates of the manufactory. Alrighty. So this is as far as I played. And I honestly believe this is a good spot to call it here. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post videos. And if you didn't know, I am running a sub goal and a membership goal. 
So for that sub goal, I am trying to hit 10,000 sub this year. And last year we hit 2,000, or not 2,000, geez. Last year I had the goal set to 1,000. We're about to hit 2,000. Uh, and yeah. So if you guys could share this video and let your friends know, that'd be great. And as well for the memberships, if you guys want to go above and beyond if you're already subscribed. We are cur currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. Jeez, I am stuttering. Woo! We are currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. And once we hit that goal of 10 YouTube channel members, we will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. So yeah. Anyways, this has been Gunshy Moray signing off.